Hey guys, it's Lauren from It's the Kellys. So today's video is actually footage that I shot back in Paris in December of 2021 when I was there by myself on my solo trip. Um, I wanted to film a series of different places that I really think deserve a little bit more show than just part of the 48 hour vlog. Um, when I came home from that trip, I edited that video right away and then just kind of life took over and I didn't really get a chance to work on these special videos. But now I am and it is ready for you guys to see. So I hope that one day you get to see everything yourself. But until then, please enjoy these videos and pretend like you're there with me. Right now, I am standing outside of the catacombs, and it is right down there, and I'm gonna go in. Um, of course, I do have to wear my mask. I do have to show my French health pass, and I did buy a ticket in advance that I did print out on a piece of paper. I think you can show a screenshot, but when I was here years ago, you had to have a piece of paper to the point where they made me go to the FedEx store down the street and actually get it printed out. So. Um, if you have access to a printer, you might as well just do it anyway. Also, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos like this as I am here. So please make sure that you're subscribed so that you can see everything that Paris has to offer. Alright, I now made it down all those stairs. I have a little video guide that I can listen to um, that comes with the ticket. are 20 meters below Paris right now, I believe. We're getting closer. Okay, so we are here inside the catacombs. A uh, little introduction for you guys. It's no surprise that Paris is made up of a ton of underground tunnels. I think everybody kind of knows that these days. Um, but basically back in the 18th century, there were so many bodies in all the cemeteries that the bodies kept spilling out into the streets and it was horrible and had a disgusting smell. So they're like, we gotta do something about it. So in 1785, they decided to move all of the bodies down into these limestone quarries that they had from when the Romans ruled. Today, we can only explore maybe about a half a mile of them, although, I mean, they really go out through the entire city. Yeah, there's 185 miles of catacombs and we only get to see a half mile of it. So they moved all the bodies in 1785 and it actually took 12 years to move all of the bodies and the catacombs have been open to the public since 1809. I'm also down here all by myself. There's like a big tour group that passed, but other than that, I'm by myself. And also this is like, there's only this much room between me and the ceiling and it's gonna get even lower in a second. Um, so yeah, I kind of like being back here by myself. Stop, this is the Empire of Death. All right, so we're about to enter where all of the bones are. Um, it says, please do not touch, obviously. And please remember that this is a memorial and that this is actually like real people's bodies and to be respectful and to try to remember the people.
circular area was built around it, with walls made of bones from the Cemetery of the Innocents. The fountain takes its name from a story in the Gospel of St. John, in which Jesus stopped beside a well and entered into conversation with a Samaritan woman. A drinketh of this water shall thirst again. So if you didn't figure it out by now, all of these are separated by the different cemeteries. Each church back in the day had its own cemetery. We try to keep this somewhat organized to show which bodies came from which cemeteries. Can you guys tell I'm hitting my head? Hundred and thirty one steps to go down, hundred and twelve steps to go up. And I'm out of breath. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the catacombs. I think it's really fascinating and like gruesome when you think about it, but more so absolutely fascinating. So I was thankful for the audio guide even though I had done a ton of research before. But if you ever come, definitely get the audio guide with your package because it just explains a lot to you. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you're subscribed to this channel because this is just the first of many, 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 many things I'm going to see while I'm here. So see you guys later. Bye.